pandemic, a lot of hospitals are not only in need of masks, but also surgical caps. So if you're a sewing lover and you have a little bit of time in your hands, please consider contacting your local hospital to see if they're in need of any surgical caps. My mother and I have actually been sewing surgical caps in our free time for the past week, and we've been donating ours to the local Houston MD Anderson's Cancer Center. Right now we're going to be buying the fabric to make surgical caps, and if you're going to be buying fabric, please be very careful and abide by social distancing rules. Okay, so before we actually start making the surgical cap, we actually need two patterns. One for the cap portion, and then one for the band part in the front. So for the cap portion, the pattern is basically a 10 inch by 10 inch quarter circle. And then for the band, it's a two and a half inch by eight inch random shape that I am not sure what it actually is. So we're gonna start off by cutting a piece of fabric into 20 by 40 inches, and then we're gonna fold it hamburger style so it becomes a square. And any type of 100% cotton fabric will work. And then after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half twice so it becomes a square. And this is just personal preference, but I like to iron the, the edges just so you can see the indent, and that way it can serve as a guide later on while making the hat. And then after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and take our pattern and lay it on top. Okay, so now that we went ahead and cut the circle out, if your fabric is one of those with the front and a back side, you want to make sure that the pattern is on the inside. That way when we sew it, and we flip it back out, we have the front side. Personally, I like to just pin everything down. It makes it easier when we're sewing. All right, so after we went ahead and pinned everything down, I'm just going to mark all four sides of the circle from what we ironed. And then after doing that, we want to find what side we want the front to be. So let's just say I want this to be the front. Then for the sides, I'm gonna go ahead and match each side to this mat I have and then you want to leave two inches from each side and make a mark and then after making that mark what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way along the edge and we're, we want to sew on the side of the smaller mark because the larger mark we're, the larger side we're going to make pleats We've went ahead and sewed the seam. We're gonna take out all the pins and flip it so the right side is on the outside. So now we're gonna start making the back part of the cap with the tie. So for the tie, I'm just using ribbon and I'm measuring it for the ribbon to be about 25 inches long. I went ahead and cleaned up the edges of the ribbon using a lighter so it doesn't end up fraying. And coming back to the hat, finding the back, right, the middle of the back part of the hat, you want to go a, about one inch on each side and make a mark. And this mark is basically where we're going to loop the ribbon in for the back part. So I just finished threading the ribbon through, and what I did is I pinned down the ribbon so it's as close to the edge as possible and then after doing that we're gonna sew basically along the line right here make sure you don't actually hit the ribbon because you want it so that when you pull it the ribbon doesn't get caught onto the edge on the edges right here we're just going to sew it closed with a line parallel to the middle line right here and then go ahead and sew along here onto the other end and make it parallel to this line as well. Now we're going to make the front part of the cap with the pleats and the band. So for the band, I cut a piece of fabric and it's roughly 6 inches by 18 inches. This doesn't really matter that much. But after cutting that, we're going to 
also fold it in half and then fold it in half and we're going to basically do the same thing put the pattern on top trace it cut it and then we will get the shape of the band So for making the pleats, what we're going to do is, since this is the upside of the cap, we're going to flip it so we have the bottom, and we're going to make intervals of three quarters of an inch on both sides, and we're going to use that as the guide for making the pleats. So now we're going to make the pleats and attach the band at the same time. I would say that this is probably the most complicated part, so I'm going to explain it to the best of my ability. So you want to first by start off by making sure that the front pieces are on the inside of each other. That way when you sew and then you flip it out, the right side is on the outside. And with the making the pleats, what we're going to do is this is the middle line. And from the middle line, we want to count one interval to the left. And then from here, we're going to take this and then make a pleat like this. And then line that part to the center. And then after doing this, taking this center, we're going to line it right here on the back, like this. And then using a pin, we're going to pin it in place. And then same thing, now we're going to skip two intervals right here, take this pleat, pleat it in like this, line it up. And then take the band on the back, line that up, and then pin it down. And again, two intervals right here, fold, down, pin, and you're going to do it all the way down. Okay, so now that we're at the very end, we're going to try to basically cover all this ugly stuff. And what we're going to do is you want to pleat it. And right here, you don't really have to follow the lines. Just kind of pleat based on how much extra space you have left. And same thing, you want to pleat it and kind of make sure that this line right here is in the inside so it gets covered. And then make sure you line it up with the band. And that's how we're going to clean up the edge, basically. So moving on to the other side, the pleats, we're going to make sure that they go the opposite way. So this side faces to the right, and then the pleats on this side are going to face to the left. And same thing, skip one interval and fold like this. So the inside lines up right here, and that's the middle line. And then make sure that the band also lines up, and then pin it down. And then same thing, two intervals, make a fold, pin, and then we're going to do it all the way to the end, same thing like on this side. Now that we completed the pleats, you can see that each of them is roughly the same distance apart from each other. And also the band, they line, you want to make sure that everything lines up evenly and it's straight and there's no pieces of fabric coming out. And after that's done, we can go ahead and sew along the edges of the pleats. So when we sew the edge, it's imperative that we start in the middle and come along to the edge on the left side and then from the middle come along to the edge on the other side. That way you want to make sure that the tension isn't messed up and the hat like keeps its shape. So we just finished sewing the other side and I flipped around the cap and we're going to sew this side now. And now that we finished sewing that part, when you flip it over, you can see that we have the band in the front. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold over the edges and using like your nail, you just kind of want to make it so you can see that it folds over and it stays in place. Same thing with the edges. What you want to do with the edges is 
you want to fold it over like this and then same thing make sure it stays that way when we sew it at the end we have a very nice and clean edge same thing on the other side and after we went ahead and make sure that every single line is clean what we're going to do is you want to find the middle and you match the middle of here so you want to match the two middles and then we're going to sew on the outside so it's kind of complicated because we're sewing on the outside but you want to make sure that the line underneath matches even though you can't see it so when you're sewing you want to make sure that you look underneath so basically peel it open and then look underneath make sure that this line right here the seam lines up with the fold and after it lines up now you know that you basically won't sew off and you can start sewing and then every couple intervals you want to come back check it and make sure it's on the same We finally finished the cap as you can see the band is attached and the back right here all you have to do is pull on the laces and it will come together and you can use it to tie on top of your head so I went ahead and put on the hat that we just finished making and once you get the hang of it each hat takes about 45 minutes to an hour to make and you could also have fun with the patterns like these I use this animal pattern or you could use solid colors as well I hope you guys found the video helpful happy sewing and stay safe